For tonight, searchers aren't giving up hope as they uh, as they continue to scour Mobile Bay for any signs of the two fishermen who disappeared on Tuesday. As you can see, multiple agencies and the United Cajun Navy were out on the water today, less than 24 hours after the Coast Guard stopped their search. These are the faces that dozens of searchers have in the back of their mind today. On the left, 83 year old fisherman Floyd Nelson and on the right, his deckhand, 49 year old David Stegman, both unaccounted for. We will still be on the scene until we uh, find someone or recover. Uh, we do not abandon the people at a time like this. Their boat was found capsized on Thursday in Mobile Bay without any trace of either men. It's a, a routine event for them. Uh, as I said, Mr. Nelson is almost 84 years old and, and I've known him my entire career. He's a, a, a very good fisherman. He's been uh, a mentor to other fishermen. So, so this is not a new environment for them. Uh, it's just, it looks like maybe some unexpected weather may have gotten to them. While the Coast Guard was involved, they searched more than 2,000 square miles. Today, rescuers from multiple agencies, including Daphne Search and Rescue, use sonar in hopes of locating the missing men. We're getting back in the water again today in partnership with Daphne Search and Rescue, running sonar and dragging chains, seeing if we can locate anything. For the United Cajun Navy, who's volunteering their time with the search, the longer this takes, the prospects of finding them alive is getting slimmer. Without flotation devices, without good communication, you know, it's, it's very hard for rescue and recovery to, to work. Rescuers tell Fox 10 News they fear this is now a recovery operation as it stretches into its fifth day tomorrow.